How was he on YouTube? Great. He was great. What was he talking about? I, same thing he's going to talk about today, you know, the science of aging and uh, longevity and reversing aging. And he was on, uh, you can see on YouTube, he was on Stephen Colbert also. The Colbert Report? Yeah, it was great. He had Stephen Colbert really laughing too. It was really great. So, um, yeah, he's, and he, but he was on TED Talks. Yeah. He's, he's kind of like a rock star. Yeah, he, he is. Actually. I think he's becoming, I just his topic kind of makes him a rock star. Right? Good. The longevity of human life is believed to be about 120. And your suggestion that life can be extended further than that, uh, how would you describe your work compared to that? Yeah, okay, so this is, again, this is a conceptual error that people have made. Um, people look at the lifespans that we see today, and they say, well, nobody lives beyond 120. That must be some kind of natural limit. And of course, that's fine. It is a natural limit for the body as we currently know it, because metabolism creates damage. And different people create different types of damage at different rates, but only within a certain range. Ultimately, damage is caused by the way that the body needs to work. And yes, there are some things that some people do a bit better than others, but the number one, the main causes of damage, the main aspects of metabolism that drive the accumulation of damage are, well, the number one is breathing. Breathing is really, really bad for you. <laughs> but the fact is, it's pretty non-negotiable, really. You know, you've got to do it. But you know, it creates free radicals. That's where free radicals come from, which, of course, damage DNA. <coughs> so, of course, there's a natural limit. But it's only a natural limit until we get therapies that can repair the damage that metabolism creates. So it's a complete misconception to say that there's really a natural limit. Natural limit in the absence of medicine is not relevant to the conversation. Paul and Kathy, we just heard the doctor. Um, what were your impressions? So I also study aging. And so, I mean, a lot of the things that he said, um, you know, in terms of what the causes of aging are, is actually right on. I disagree on a few things, but... Because <laughs> um, in reality, I like what he said, is, you know, we can't just cure atherosclerosis and everyone's going to live forever or a thousand years. So we have to target all of those things and the key things that are changing with aging. And I'm not sure we're going to be there anytime as soon as he thinks we are. But. I think that um, throughout history, the lifespan has never been exceeded about 120. That's about the maximum. That's the part that I think the traditional gerontologists yeah. are struggling with. There's a maximum lifespan for all species, including humans. And that's the part we're waiting to see, and uh, we're not quite sure. But, uh, you know, innovative thinking and science can take us to places we don't know. Um, so I don't want to be entirely pessimistic. But I guess I just want to be more uh, cautious. Well, I found it optimistic. <laughs> so, uh, and I, I find it really intriguing, and it made a lot of sense that we are able to do something about the actual mechanism that causes disease. Live forever, you'll be able to go to every brunch on the bay. How do you feel about that? I would love it. <laughs>